What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> Just want to give you a little update on my road to financial success. Um, what happened? Uh, actually, oh, I um, I had a um, my car, for instance, right? I rented a U-Haul and I left my car at the U-Haul, um, the U-Haul station center, whatever you call it. So I left it there. And I go back the next day, put the key in ignition, <clears throat> and I noticed that it wouldn't start, it wouldn't turn. So I figured, okay, it's probably the battery. So I proceeded to go get some battery cables and tried to get the jump. That didn't work. Then after that, I said, okay, well, let me just go buy a whole new battery. So when I bought this battery, thinking that this would be the only problem, put the battery in, um, hooked the cables up, everything was good started but still something was a little shaky so I said let me just take it to the mechanic and it turned out that it ended up being the cables and were corroded and everything so I had to get all this fixed and the bill came to about 244.81 but one good thing about that is that I had no stress upon me when it came to the situation now if this would have been about five six years ago I would immediately panicked when this happened because I was like oh my gosh do I have enough on my credit card is the credit card maxed or you know you know I would you know I would run, run through these scenarios or oh man I got to put this on the credit card or if I didn't have money on the credit card oh I have to borrow this money or whatever you know <clears throat> so it would bring up anxiety so by me having an emergency fund in place and with my emergency fund I put three hundred dollars a month into it um, it gave me the sense of ease. It gave me the sense of Abdul, calm down. Everything's taken care of. You you have this taken care of. You just take this money out. And see, one thing about an emergency is that you won't have one every month, right? They don't happen all the time. But when they do happen, you need to be prepared. So it gave me a sense of accomplishment to say, hey, you know what? I actually have an emergency fund. But here's here's the, here's the good thing about it. And I know for all you people out there who say, well, I only have a credit card because I only use it for emergencies. Here's the problem. Let's say I put this emergency on my credit card. Then another emergency comes. And I didn't pay that emergency off. Now I'm bringing that emergency into another one and I'm just piling up and piling up and piling up. Now, being that that situation is done, it's done. It's paid for. It's done. Now I'm moving on with life waiting on the next one and being and trying to be prepared for that one because they're going to come whether you want them to or not they're going to come I'm letting you know if, if you're alive and you're breathing an emergency is going to come you, you you can't you can't uh, <laughs> you, you, you have to play the game because we're here you know some people say they just live by the wish factor like oh I wish nothing's wrong or when the phone rings at a at a weird time and like ah there gotta be something. There gotta be an emergency. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. And this raises high blood pressure. It's not good for your health. You know, to be stressed out all the time. Stress actually causes 95% of the diseases. So I just want to say to the world today, let's get on this goal. Join me in my goal of saving $25,000 this year. You know, um, I'm going to have my ebook up. I'm working on it, but I got a lot of other projects going on right now, so it's going to be up shortly. And when I say shortly, maybe a month or two, in a bit, because I got a lot of things in my plate right now. So bear with me. And I want to tell you right now, if you can't save twenty-five thousand, save what you can, but save it because if you live to save instead of living to work, you'd be more well off, and then you can live like no one else later. I'm going to repeat that. If you live to save, you'll be well off. So live to save, not live to work. Because here's the premium. People say, like, well, you only live one, you only have one life. Okay, that may be fine and true and dandy, whatever, whether you believe in reincarnation or whatever. Could be fine. It could be true. But here's the deal. The life that you live you want to make sure that you're taken care of. You don't want to prematurely go out here and buy jet skis and all these other kind of things. But when an emergency like this happens or any other thing happens, you can't. You're not prepared for it because you chose to go out and do a childish thing of 
let me buy something really I don't have the money to pay for it that's really what a credit card and the credit mine basically lets people know when I use something to buy something with a credit card and if it's a materialistic item I don't have the money for it and I can't wait till I have the money for it so I want it now that's it that's that's the only thought behind it I want it now so join me in the go tell me how you guys are doing tell me what you're saving and and let's do it together let's let's come on board together signing off